Hello students, today we are going to start chapter 10, Movement of Substances. Now, each and every cell in the body of an organism, whether it is a plant or an animal, it requires air, water and food for survival. It is therefore necessary to transport these substances to all the parts of the body. So, we are dealing with transportation of water and food in plants. Water along with minerals is absorbed with the help of unicellular hair on roots and it is transported to all parts of the plant. And food is synthesized in green leaves which is transported to all parts of the plant body where it is stored or utilized and this is called translocation of food. Now next topic is absorption of water and minerals by the roots from the soil. We know that root hair they absorb water and minerals that is dissolved in the soil from the soil by the process of osmosis. And what is osmosis children? The movement of molecules of a liquid from a region of higher concentration to the region of their lower concentration through a semi-permeable membrane is called osmosis. And plants absorb water and minerals from the soil with the help of these hair, with the help of the hair present on the roots and then the process of osmosis occurs. Now you see conduction of water. How is water conducted to the all parts of the plant? From where do, is water absorbed? Water is taken from the soil by the root hair. So water is absorbed by the root hair. It moves from one cell to another within the root through the process of osmosis and it reaches the xylem. Xylem is the vascular tissue that is present in the central core of the of the stem. Now let's study in detail about the conducting tissues in plants. The conducting tissues are also called vascular tissues. They are called vascular tissues because vascular means any vessel or cells which carry fluids. Fluid may be water, it may be blood, it may be liquid food. So the conducting tissues in plants, there are two special types of tubular tissues which run from root to the tip of the plant and they form a continuous passage of water and food and these two conducting tissues are xylem and phloem and you can see in the diagram xylem and phloem the phloem makes the outer part and the xylem is in the inner one you can see the transfer section of the stem here now you see that xylem it is a hollow thick walled woody tubular tissue that includes cells with porous walls and xylem is concerned with the conduction of or we can say the transportation of water and phloem is thin walled tubular tissue which includes cells filled with cytoplasm and it has porous walls and phloem is concerned with the conduction of food materials from the leaf to the storage organs and the growing points. So in stem, both the xylem and phloem, they occur in group or bundles and that is known as the vascular bundle. In vascular bundle, xylem is placed towards the pit and phloem is placed as a cap over the xylem towards the outer side, that is the cortex. Now students, let, let's read about transpiration. We have been studying about this phenomena since junior classes. Now transpiration, what is transpiration? It is the loss of water in the form of water vapor from the body of a plant. And transpiration mainly occurs through stomata. The excess water absorbed by the roots is lost by the plant body into the air through these stomata. And we know transpiration occurs all the time. May it be day, may it be night. And the loss of water by a plant in a unit time, that is called the rate of transpiration. So, this rate of transpiration, it is more in the 
daytime because in the daytime the stomata are open and the air around the leaf is warm and dry so the rate of transpiration is more in daytime moreover the rate of transpiration depends upon the number of stomata the texture of leaves and the size of leaves now next we'll study about the suction of water that is the transpiration pull we have studied what is transpiration the loss of water from the leaves is called transpiration now what is this transpiration pull so this transpiration forms a continuous chain of water moving across the plant body from root to the uppermost tip of the plant this creates a suction or a pull force we can say and that is called transpiration pull and xylem forms a continuous column of tubes from root to stem leaves and other parts of the plant up to the top of the tree you can see here soil water is taken up by the root hair root hair takes up the water that goes into the root from the root it goes to the stem from the stem into the leaf and then to the tree top so the water due to transpiration pull is pulled up to the top of the tall trees importance of transpiration what is the importance of transpiration transpiration is very important and it is a necessary process going on in plants it is helpful why because it give it produces cooling effect and it thus saves the plant from hot air and the sun transpiration also creates suction or we can say the pull force on water molecules in the xylem tubes and it thus pull the water up to the topmost of the topmost leaf of the plant we know this transpiration pull is so strong that it takes up water from the root to the uppermost tip of the very tall trees those may be up to 20 to 30 meter tall or even more so that is all due to transpiration pull that the water moves up now the next topic is translocation of food in plants we have studied earlier there are two vascular tissues one is xylem one is phloem xylem is concerned with the transportation of water and minerals and phloem is concerned with the translocation of food in plants now we know food is synthesized in plants in green plants by the process of photosynthesis and this food in solution form moves through special vascular cells called the phloem present in the veins on the leaves in various directions all directions lateral upward or even downward to reach every part of the plant where it is required either for respiration growth or storage so students uh, today we will do this much only now uh, read the chapter and understand it carefully thank you have a nice day